few years ago, when I make videos telling people that there are cheap alternatives to move to, I used to name many countries. Uh, but now it seems that policies are changing around the world and countries that are even cheap are beginning to ask for institution fees. This country remains cheap, but they are changing their policies gradually. This video is to educate you about those policy changes and pull your ear and tell you that you need to start now. Hello everyone, this is your one and only Waka Waka Doctor, always bringing you the best gist when it comes to travel and migration. You know how we do it on this channel. All we do is share information that has to do with travel, moving, working, and living abroad. Um, if this is the first time of you coming across my channel, I want to say welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, subs turn on your subscription button and your notification bells as well. Um, and you will not regret it. For those who have always watched me and my, this channel has been beneficial to you, I want to say thank you very much. Um, two quick information that I like to pass across. Number one, I am not on Telegram and I am not on WhatsApp. So if you do find anybody in the comment section saying you should reach out to them on Telegram or WhatsApp, it is not me. Number two is that I wrote a book, a book titled Move Abroad by Force. This book was made about a year ago and the idea behind this book is to help people who want to move abroad be able to do it on their own without the use of any agent. The book contains information about moving abroad, looking for cheap alternatives, moving abroad without a job offer, scholarships, and many more. If you want to acquire the book, all you need to do is go into the description box of this video and you would find the link to acquire the book there as well. And if you're looking to reach out to me, you're looking to contact me, look into the description box of this video and you'll be able to find my contact there. Those who don't know what description box means, it's where the information about videos are found and you can just find it under this video you're watching. Okay, just toggle it down and you'll see it right there. This video, this video is about Austria. Austria, you heard me right, Austria. Austria is still one of those countries that are, that is very affordable and people can move to if they don't have a lot of money as budget. Tuition in Austria still ranges between 750 euros to 1,500 euros. I know this for a fact because over the last one, two years, at least I have personally helped more than 30, 40 people move to Austria. That is a fact, okay? Just by um, guidance and helping them um, navigate their pathway, admission and visa application. More than 40, almost 50 people over the last two years have moved to Austria through Waka Waka Doctor. And I'm hoping that um, after this video, I will be able to help Maybe another 10, 15 people move to Austria again. But you need to listen to these policy changes that Austria is making or has made so that you know whether you are prepared to go ahead. The first change that you must take note of is, and I'll say number one, is that university confirmation of graduates and certificates must be done. University confirmation of certificate and graduates must be done. This means that the Ministry of Education now requires that um, your university where you graduated from uh, must send a confirmation email verifying your results and certificates before proceeding to include you on the list of individuals that are eligible for authentication. So your university must send an email to the Ministry of Education <laughs> verifying and stating that you actually have those certificates, you actually finish that degree before they can add you to the list of candidates who will be authenticated. So if you went to a university <laughs> where they don't re respond in time, I don't know what to tell you because um, the process has varying durations and it's contingent upon um, your university and how they promptly um, you know, how, how promptly you can facilitate, you know, communication between the Ministry of Education and your university. So that's very important. Now, we know that before you 
apply for Austria, you need to legalize your documents, you need to authenticate and verify them. Now, this um, verification fee now has also changed. There's an update for the verification fee. The verification fee is now 400 euros for individuals and 500 euros for couples. 400 euros for individuals and 500 euros uh, for couples. And you have to pay in cash at the um, counter during your submission. This is done at the embassy. When you want to verify your documents, you pay at the counter. Um, the verification process has now been extended. It can take as long as six months. So you need to prepare. You know, it's I think it's a precaution, precautionary measure um, that they are taking, you know, due to security concerns in several countries, um, Pakistan, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, and several other countries like that. However, um, I think it's important to state that the verification process typically takes um, about three months, okay, 12 weeks or less, depending on the um, verification lawyer's availability, because it's a lawyer who would verify your documents and it depends on the availability of that lawyer. Um, before I continue, remember that there are several schools in, um, in um, Austria and in the description box of this video, I'm going to put out a list of several schools where they are English taught. Tuition is 750 to 1,500 euros per year. Um, Austria would typically tell you that you cannot move with your family at once, but I have found that some people have found it easy. Some people have found it possible to move with their family when they are moving. So I think it's eat and miss. Sometimes you can move with your family, other times you might not be able to move with your family. It depends on the when you apply uh, for a visa. And you can work while you study in Austria. So you need to know that you can work while you study in Austria and the courses are taught in English. Okay. Another policy change is that you are now required to submit your documents for verification in person, okay? In person. There is nothing like third party submission anymore. In, in the past, um, they used to allow third party submissions where you know the person comes with a letter of authority um from the the, or the owner of the documents that that should be verified but that's no longer allowed um third party submissions with a letter of identity will only be allowed if the owner of the documents resides in austria but if the person doesn't reside in austria it has to be done in person okay uh, the legalization fee remains the same it's 80 euros and you can pay in your currency okay it's 80 euros and you can pay in your currency it's also important for me to state that um, submission of documents for verification must include a confirmation email um, with the intended institution okay you need to take note of that let me just say this for those who are wondering about you know, um, appointments and appointments. I just need to say this, that appointments are scarce at the moment. Um, but if you leave or you stay close to the embassy, you will be able to find a way around it. So you might want to go to the embassy. You might want to um, ask for information. Um, I will not say more than that. Okay. I will not say more than that. Now, the last thing I want to address is... Um, some frequently asked questions that people have asked me and I think we need to talk about. Number one is, do I need legalization before applying to universities? The answer to this is yes. Yes, um, it's advisable to complete your legalization process um, or be close to completion before initiating any university applications. That's what I advise. Even if the university um, allows applications without legalization, I recommend that to avoid a lot of frustration later on, okay? So please, please, please um, start early. Start your documentation verification early so that you will not be frustrated. Can I start the application process after the Federal Ministry authentication without going to the embassy? Now, the Federal Ministry authentication um, alone does not suffice for legalization, okay? Especially uh, for Nigerians, it doesn't suffice alone. Um, you, re you require what is called a double apostille authentication from the ministry 
and from the embassy. Okay, they are necessary for your documents to be accepted. Do I have to pay tuition after receiving an admission offer? Tuition payment policies actually vary based on university. Okay, small size universities may require partial tuition payment um, upon admission um, just to secure a slot, but bigger universities, public universities, um, typically allow payment when it's close to the enrollment of the semester. Austria has a set time, okay, when admission opens. But I usually say, because admission opens like twice in a year, but I usually say, start your process early. I've got a video um, on my YouTube channel that you can watch concerning Austria. So if you just type in the search bar and look for, waka, just type Waka Waka Doctor Austria in the search bar like this. Go on YouTube, search bar, Waka Waka Doctor Austria, and you would see the videos I've made about Austria. You can watch them and follow step by step. I am willing to help about 10 people. Let me just say 10 people. I'm willing to help 10 people move to Austria who are ready um, to do this process from start to finish. All you need to do is go into the description box of this video and book a consultation and you start your journey. 10 people only to move to Austria. I hope this video would have helped one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 people. Um, till I see you again in another video, another um, episode. It's your one and only Waka Waka Doctor and I'm signing out.